Now, I had read this article once before when I actually saw it at work. Um, at about maybe 3 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, March 12, 2015. And skimming through it now, I realize that this thing has been changed. It's, 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 it's been changed, which is quite interesting because I was about to do this video based off what I had read before. And one of the key things that I had read before was it saying that, uh, was like the police chief or someone saying that these police officers did not, um, uh, he didn't know them. Like, he, like they weren't from his department. And now I notice. And that was the main thing that was going to get me to make this video. And now I notice it's nowhere in here. In fact, thank God I actually uh, uh, quoted it. Um, it said, "P.S. The St. Louis, the uh, the St. Louis Post Dispatch newspaper earlier reported that Ferguson, uh, that Ferguson Lieutenant Colonel Al Erikoff, er, Al Erikoff said he did not believe either of the shooters were part of his department. No, no, sorry, either of the officers were part of his department. Okay." I'll repeat that. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch newspaper earlier reported that Ferguson Lieutenant Colonel Al Erikoff said he did not believe either of the officers were part of his department. To which part I had said, <laughs> quote, <laughs> so what were they doing there? Notice how he didn't say something to the effect of I call for backup or we got help from another department just in case in brackets of whatever and now I notice that that quote which I copied and pasted is nowhere in this now current article that I'm going to read off huh this is interesting amazing how the media goes anyway <clears throat> I'm actually going to read off my post in the comment section and then get to the actual article and then we're gonna use a little bit of intelligence. No, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's read the article first. So here we go. Two officers shot outside Ferguson Police Headquarters after police chief quits. Uh, this comes from MSN. I'll have a link. Ferguson, Missouri, March 12th, Reuters. Two police officers were shot during a protest outside Ferguson, Missouri Police Headquarters early on Thursday. Pol early on Thursday, police said, just hours after the city, city's police chief quit following a damning justice report into his department. St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmer told reporters that a 41-year-old officer from his department was struck in the shoulder and a 32-year-old officer from the nearby Webster Grove Police City um, uh, Webster Grove Police Department was hit in the face around midnight as the crowd was starting to break up. He said he did not know the conditions of the officers whom he did not identify but said they were both conscious and being treated at a local hospital. Quote, these police officers were standing there and they were shot just because they were police officers, Belmer said. The St. Louis County Police Department Twitter account had earlier said both of the shot officers were from their department. Hmm. Interesting. So from what I quoted earlier, which is nowhere to be found in the actual article now, surprise, surprise, and now this thing is saying that they're both, that earlier had said they were both from his department. Hmm. Okay. It'd be nice if our first story didn't have cracks in it already. Anyway, a few dozen demonstrators scrambled following the sound of gunfire around midnight, with some screaming, quote, they hit a cop, according to a Reuters photographer at the scene. Several dozen protesters had gathered in front of the Ferguson Police Department earlier on Wednesday night, just hours after, after the city's police chief, Thomas Jackson, announced his resignation. The demonstration was largely peaceful, but later the demonstration was largely peaceful, but later on, some two dozen officers, some two dozen officers 
clad in riot gear, faced off against the protesters who had relocated to the street. At least two people were taken into custody as at the time. Bellmer said that the shooter was embedded, quote unquote, embedded in the group of demonstrators who were standing across from the officers at the time. Prominent activist DeRay McKenson, DeRay McKenson on Twitter. Prominent activist DeRay McKenson said on Twitter that he was at the scene at the that he was at the scene and that the gunfire did not appear to come from the gaggle of protesters. The shooter was not with the pro quote. The shooter was not with the protesters. The shooter was atop the hill. Hmm. We can live in a world without guns, McKesson said. Protesters had called for Jackson's removal since the fatal shooting of unarmed black 18-year-old Michael Brown by white Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson on August 9, 2014. The killing tri triggered nationwide protests and, a and drew scrutiny to police use of deadly force, especially against black men. Neither a grand jury nor the federal police led, uh, neither a grand jury nor the federal probe led to charges against Wilson. Jackson's departure was the latest of a string of officers who have stepped down following a scathing report from the U.S. Justice Department and found report from the U.S. Justice Department that found widespread racially biased biased abuses in the city's in the city's police department and municipal court. And this was written by Curtis Skinner, edited, editing by Paul Tate and Tom Hennigan. Okay. And right on cue, like fucking clockwork, you can simply look through the comments. You may find mine. Uh, look through the comments, and 90% of it is nothing more than obvious racist. And I don't say that just to, oh my god, black man saying racist, all great. No, no, no. Obvious freaking racist. Because... <laughs> From what I saw from the first post, which and, and and this is not the same article that I read when I first saw it, and also based off the comments, as well as mine, from the first post and this post, you can clearly see the people just going off to assumptions. And I'm going to now read off my post that I posted, um, my comment that I posted, some now 10 hours ago. It is now 2 7, it is now... Thursday, March 12, 2015, at 2.17 p.m., and according to this counter, I posted this 10 hours ago. <clears throat> Quote, I get off work in four hours and five minutes, to which point I'll be making a YouTube video about this. It's not four hours, but whatever. I, I fell asleep. 12-hour um, shift, yeah, I fell asleep. Um, <clears throat> a YouTube video about this. One simple question for all the racists here. And you know who you are. Can you show me independent, unbiased proof that the gunman, God forbid, gun woman, was even half, much less fully black? Okay, two questions. Can you show me what law of God or nature says that they couldn't have been white? Kind of like how Hitler burned down his rice stag and then blamed it on the Jews. And by they, I mean the gunman. Okay, if not, then A, shut the fuck up and, and, quote, wait for all the facts to come out, as is always said when a black man gets 10 bullets in the back of back for holding a cell phone slash cotton candy slash kids slash thin air, etc. in his hands. B, research, <clears throat> problem, reaction, solution, quote, unquote, as told by David Icke. In fact, since you're probably too lazy to do it here, to do it here, I'll spoon feed it to you. Hopefully you're not too lazy and have an IQ of zero or above to be able to see how that tactic factors in in terms of this situation. Here you go, and then I post a link. P.S. And then I went and um, said what I said earlier. The police, uh, the St. Louis Police Dispatch newspaper earlier reported that Ferguson blah 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 blah. Uh, this is what I said um, at the beginning of this video. Okay, so let's let's run through a few things here. There's already the first thing that I noticed, which was mm, the cause for me to make this video in the first place. Uh, the St. Louis Police Dispatch, this is quoting, the St. Louis Police Dispatch newspaper earlier reported that Ferguson 
Lieutenant Colonel Al, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Al Erikoff said he did not believe either of the officers were part of his department. Um, if you get officers' names, you can easily check if they're part of your department or not. That's not something that you should be unclear about. Okay, you can radio into dispatch. They can look through the computer. Uh, no, we don't have anybody employed here by that name or by those names. Okay, now. A few things to this story. The first one, and, 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 and this goes out to certain entities. Um, I'm not trying to go on any racial lines here, but you all know who you are by the questions that I'm going to be asking. You all know who you are. Okay. The first thing, uh, what exactly is a thug? Because I noticed that people, uh, so far 100% white, I don't see any Asian, Indian, Middle Eastern, uh, Spanish saying this. It's, it's, it's just been 100% white people, so, you know, um, yeah. Uh, what exactly is a thug? Please give me a clear-cut definition of what a thug is, because it seems to me that people say this word, and it's been said, add infinitum in the comments, um, in regards to just, a lot of stuff's been said, ape this, thug that, they, them, and all those kinds of words. What exactly is a thug? I mean, what is 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 a thug a black male that has his pants sagging and uh, I don't know might smoke a little bit of weed or uh, might listen to rap music, hmm? or is a thug some Al Capone motherfucker dressed in a fucking Armani suit? <laughs> dressed in an Armani suit that might be doing huge multinational uh, uh, crimes, actual crimes, okay, that affect people of all scales, all socioeconomic groups, and potentially all over the world. Who, who, who pl Please give me a clear-cut definition of what a thug is. Feel free to put it in the comments, because, um, you know, I, 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 anyway, just, just give me definition of what a thug is. Now, the second one, and this, and again, this, you, you people know who you are, who these questions are directed to. Please explain to me how it is that situations such as Bundy Ranch could come about, such as, uh, actually, I'll just, I'll just leave that, that one. If anybody doesn't know what the Bundy Ranch situation is, feel free to research it. How situations like that can come about, and you don't hear anyone calling them thugs or this or that or this or that, okay? I notice in the comments section, and this again comes from mainly white people, that they say, you know what? Don't resist the cops and you won't have any problems. Don't break the law and you won't have any problems. But yet I notice that the moment that these cops happen to maybe do the exact same thing that they've been doing to blacks for God knows how many decades now. Okay? More or less hundreds of years, if um, depending on who you ask. The moment one white person gets a little taste of that, either, I guess, by accident or, per or perhaps on purpose, none of that's being said. Black people are told, don't mouth off to the cops, don't, don't, don't anything, don't, don't make any threatening gestures. But yet, there's no shortage of videos here on YouTube, much less, of white people just mouthing off clear... I mean, hell, clear example, that one white lady in D.C. who, even though she was protecting a black man, was there mouthing off, talking real ignorant to the black police officers, right there in D.C., right, 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 maybe like 30 minutes drive from my house, okay? What, she was a lawyer? Yeah, she was. Did she know the laws? Yeah, she knew them. And she started recording, but she was mouthing off to those cops. And obviously, no black person could do that without getting maced, taste, shot, canine, uh, beat, and then probably arrested. Okay. 
So please explain to me why it is that you get no shortage of, I mean, let's just be honest here because I don't, I've yet to see anybody else, again, black, white, I mean, white, black, Asian, Spanish, Middle Eastern, Alpha Centaurian, whatever, Martian, Neptunian, Plutonian, whatever. I've yet to see anybody else apart from white people. Again, in the videos, YouTube, uh, comments, anywhere. My rights, I know my rights, Constitution, this and that. Mouthing off the cops. Black people do that, they're told, you know what, just keep quiet, obey the law, and you won't have any problems. When was the last time you saw a black person just walking around with a gun? I mean, again, YouTube videos if you want. A black person walking around with a gun talking about, well, it's my right to conceal carry or open carry, so that's what I was doing with a fucking AK-47 fucking fully automatic, I don't know, fucking howitzer or some shit. When was the last time you saw anybody else but white people doing that? All right, so explain that to me. And you might think that all these questions I'm asking have nothing to do with this thing. Yeah, it does. It does. Sorry you can't figure it out on your own, that you need it to be essentially spelled out for you, but yeah, it does. Explain to me why it is that when police happen to infringe, happen to tread on you, don't tread on me, happen to tread on you, infringe on your rights, mainly if not only white people, you all go completely fucking crazy. But the moment they do that to, I guess, anyone non-white, and let's just say black, all right, let's just, uh, let's not play dumb here. There's no, oh, well, he was just standing up for his rights. Constitution belongs to him, too. Don't tread on me. None of that. None of that's there for black people. For black people, oh, he must have been a thug. That's the only reason why cops would be going after him or her, no, him. Because I noticed black women aren't getting targeted and shot down. And Why? Hmm? Which brings me to my next question based off uh, what I just finished saying a couple seconds ago. Um, <clears throat> this whole thing of all lives matter. Hmm. Well, you know, I mean, that, 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 that's a nice thing to say, all lives matter, that's all well and nice, um, not just black lives, okay, hmm. Yeah, so for all you people saying all lives matter, because we all know how that's been fucking hijacked, I mean, uh, that little slogan or whatever, I, it, it didn't mean shit the moment it came out. And now it clearly doesn't mean anything because, again, of how it's been hijacked. All lives matter. Okay. For all you people saying that, with the obvious deflection of what that means, please explain. Uh, please show me how many Asians were getting gunned down, men and or women. How many Indians? How many Middle Easterns? Um, how many Spanish? Okay, then I guess Spanish people can show one. One now, okay. How many of them have been getting gunned down over the past months compared to black people, and specifically not even black people? Because again, I've yet to see one instance of any black woman getting shot uh, dead by the cops, unarmed, armed, or unarmed, whatever. But black men. All lives matter, but yet, time after time, it's only black lives, black male lives that you're hearing getting shot down by the cops. Unfucking armed. Most, if not all, the time. Hmm? 
See, this whole Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter, that would be all on the nights if people were getting shot down in more or less, a lot more than less, equal numbers. That's not happening. Oh, All Lives Matter, even though only one life is getting shot down time and time and time again. Hmm. Explain that to me. Which also brings me to my next question. Um, um, my next question uh, again. This is to again maybe just white people. I don't know, um, or anybody who believes this. Usually, if not always, white. You complain as 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 is shown in the comments. When a white person gets shot by the cops, it doesn't even make any news. Whose fault is that? You do realize that black people don't own anything, right? I mean, it's kind of like saying, oh my God, black people with all their drugs. Well, where the hell are they getting the drugs from? As Lawrence Fishburne said in that movie, like way the hell back, but I think Cuban Goody Jr. or whatever the hell his name was, how are black people getting it? We don't own any boats, we don't own any factories, we don't own anything that could produce or transport that shit here, yet it keeps ending up in our streets. How the hell is it getting here? Hint, it's not us. Okay, again, whose fault is it that these all these supposed white people that are getting shot down by cops, okay, are not getting reported and not making news? Last time I checked, black people don't own any news media. None. I can't name one news media that is completely and, and absolutely owned, controlled, and operated by black people. So white people, I've got to ask you, whose fault is that that Fox News isn't report? I mean, who the hell owns Fox News? Why aren't they reporting all these supposed white lives that are being shot down? And the, the simple fact of the matter is, forget the news, because in today's day and age of this shit right here, cell phones recording in full 1080p picture and sound, if all these supposed white people are getting just gunned the fuck down by cops and nobody's saying anything, there's no protest. Well, first of all, white people, it's pretty stupid to ask anybody else to protest for you. Black people are protesting black lives. I guarantee you, if a string of Asian people were getting shot down by the fucking cops, you would have all of China, Japan, Korea, Thailand, the entire Asian world, okay, dissenting on the United States. And they would be marching. They're not getting shot down, so you know what? They're staying silent. Sun Tzu style. If you're not being attacked, don't fight. Spanish people, they, they've been largely fucking silent until one of their people finally get killed. Oh my god, our Ferguson moment. This is our Ferguson moment. This is so bad. And now, of course, they want to go and now hijack what black people, again, as usual, hijack what black people started and take, make it for their own stuff. The moment some shit happens to them. <laughs> I guarantee Indians would have done it too, Middle Easterns would have done it too, Native Americans would have done it too. So, people, you've got to stop. If you're complete, well, first of all, you should be recording. If you have such a problem with the way white people getting shot by cops, I don't hear them being shot by black cops, but being shot by cops is being so underrepresented in the uh, in the news. Feel free to make your own news. As I've stated before in many of my other videos, this shit is no. Um, my arms are what? How many feet long? This shit is within arm's reach, arm's radius at all times. As to whether it's charged fully at all times, look at us, something else. But it's, I can grab this shit, and I update it to Lollipop now to where even when the, look at this. Look at this, you see this? Look at this. Can you see it? Look at that. Watch this. Boom. You can start recording instantly. I don't even have to go and type in my password or anything. You can just start recording instantly. Look, I'll show it to you again. Look. Hmm? Done.
start recording. Android 5.0 on Samsung Galaxy S3. So, when I see articles like this, and I see the comments in here, white people have no problem resisting the cops the moment those cops start infringing on their rights and stepping on their constitution, their constitution, their rights. We need to take back our country. They have no problem saying, you know what, we're not going to take it. You know what, I got my guns. And you see this nowhere more than in this talk of guns. They tell black people, these all these racist white people and all that stuff, tell black people, oh, follow the law, just follow the law, follow the law, and you won't have any problems. But when that law says something they don't like, all of a sudden, they're the first ones ready to lock and load, you know what? <sighs> what the fuck is it? Hail Mary and pass the ammunition or throw praise the Lord and pass whatever the fuck. They're the first one talking about, well, come get my guns and see what happens to you. You can pry it from my cold, dead hands. There's no talk of following the law, even though that law might say that for national security reasons, we need to go ahead and take your guns. Oh, uh, yeah, buddy, because the Constitution... Yeah, well, you know what? The Constitution says a lot of shit for a lot of people. And when anybody else, non-white, is not getting their constitutional rights realized, realized, nobody's saying anything. Anyway, um, I got, I got, I got a gym to go to, so I'm gonna wrap this up. This right here looks like a fucking setup. I don't think that there were any protesters. I mean, hell, the person is stepping down. Okay, <laughs> so I don't know what the hell there is to protest. They probably protested him being there for him to step down. Now he's stepping down. They're probably just there watching. Now, that's what this sounds like to me. Just a bunch of people watching this whole thing go down. False flag operation comes into effect. Because we all know that's never happened before. This is the very first time in history that's ever happened. And now we have this. People are saying that they rioted. That's not a rioting. Somebody shoots and people start scattering, which is what people do out of instinctive reaction to scatter. That's not a riot. Nowhere did it say that the shooter was black, at least not that I've seen. Okay. And if anybody's going to show me, well, here it is. It says right here the shooters are black. Please make sure you show some actual unbiased evidence that has been cross-checked by at least three different independent, independent sources. Okay. But like clockwork, and 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 people sitting here blaming Obama and Holder, Eric Holder, whatever the hell. I know this is never anybody else. On situations such as this, it's never anybody else but racist white people. How the fuck do you blame Obama for this? You do realize that black people have pretty much denounced Obama and pretty much disowned him from the black world, right? Obama has done absolutely nothing for black people in the fucking eight years. Eight out of the, the eight years that he's been in office. He has done absolutely nothing. Absolutely fuck all for black people. And yet people are still blaming him. Where the fuck do you get this from? What, why, why the hell do you blame him? For shit like this, I blame Obama. I blame whoa. What the fuck? Where do you get this from? And you wonder why you're called racist. So you know what? Make a list of these questions that I asked. Feel free to answer them in the comment section because, yeah, this, this this is getting annoying and it does have to stop. And it needs to stop completely. You don't get to sit here and talk about constitution and my rights and this and that when the cops are fucking with you or the government is fucking with you, but the moment it's fucking with black people, well, when is it not? 
oh well they were just a thug you know what if they were if they pulled their pants up then they wouldn't have a problem well, and you wonder why you're called racist and I have to say white people because again I don't see any Asian Indian Middle Eastern Native American I don't see anybody else commenting all the comments so far have just been white people throwing racist shit and me with my independent stance not even targeting and not even getting into that racist thing just me making my comment and then a few black people a few white people, a few white people being genuine and being like wait a minute hold up it didn't say anywhere in here that they were black so how are you jumping to that it, wait a minute rioting what the hell one I know two two white people out of what has what is now 393 comments as of Thursday, March 12, 2015 at 2.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I counted two. I read all the comments. I counted two white people that were not on some racist shit. You people have got to stop. Seriously got to stop. Seriously got to stop. Nobody was calling that incident that happened at the Bundy Ranch. Again, research it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Nobody, I, I saw nobody calling them thugs, calling them whatever, and they had a fucking shootout with fucking federal agents. Agents on hills pointing at them, them in their ranch, whatever the fuck it was, pointing back at them, shooting at them. weren't calling those white people thugs. All these American classics of, 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 of gangsters, nobody's calling them thugs. And they were probably the most traditional definition of a thug possible. Nobody's calling them thugs. No, they're American classics. But black people, not even armed, unarmed. Oh, they were a thug. They were a thug. What? What? What is a thug? Give me a clear definition that you could put in the dictionary, if need be, of a thug. Anyway, I see problems coming on the horizon. Uh, I see black people, uh, black people, and uh, black women are probably safe because if they haven't been getting gunned down by now, they won't. And uh, yeah, they're safe. Black men, I think, are I think we're gonna need to double down and 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 start uh, reinforcing ourselves because. This right here just leaves the fucking gateway open for all sorts of fucking legislation. Just like that fucking, well, what, what the fuck was it? That street harassment video and all the street harassment bullshit that women are complaining about. In their teens to mid uh, to late 20s. <laughs> By the time they hit 40, 50, you know, God knows they're... They can't wait to get street harassed they'd love it okay that right there especially what that one dumb bitch did in 10 hours of street harassment or some shit that right there puts legislation in or makes the way for legislation for stop and frisk oh he was street harassing me oh he was doing this and in enters this legislation because <laughs> we all know that the vast majority of people in New York that have been getting stopped and frisked are in fact minorities and, and, and let's just be honest here because minorities I mean hell white women with a fucking green hair strand that's a minority so minority doesn't mean anything black and to a lesser extent Spanish okay black men and to a lesser extent Spanish men okay People, 
when women complain about street harassment, this and that, now this gives police the clear they need and laws and and and, and the government, the legislation they need to put in stuff like stop and frisk or enforce it and amend to it. This thing right here, two cops getting shot. This now puts in God knows what kind of fucking Orwellian legislation. God knows what kind of draconian shit is going to come out of this. And here it is. <laughs> Anybody could have done this. Anybody could have done this. A fucking Mexican sniper could have done this. I mean, the person said they were on top of a hill. Somebody from a hill did this? That, in fact, you know what? Where is it? Quote, the shooter was not with the protesters. The shooter was atop the hill. We can live in a world without guns. Unquote, McKesson said. Now, unless I have a... Now, unless Hill means something different in this case, a hill was atop the hill. In the middle of a town, in the middle of a city, um, a hill for them to be perching themselves on top of. That sounds like a fucking sniper. Nobody sits atop the hill or a hill or any kind of hill of any sort, at least in the geographical sense, and shoots any kind of handgun. You stay atop a hill and shoot a fucking sniper rifle. So maybe I don't. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm missing. Um, I'm misunderstanding what hill means in this case. But the shooter was atop the hill. Anyway, this is going to lead to problems. I find it interesting how nobody else but white people and racist white people at people at that fact are the only ones that seem to catch on to these stories interesting anyway this has gone on long enough uh... links 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 ad infinitum and uh... one oh one last thing for people to look at check and see I read out this article. Check and see if this article changes by the time you get to it. Because, again, this article that I read out here in this video is not the same article. Even though it's the same exact link that I posted on Facebook, it's not the same article that I first read um, that prompted me to make this video. So, check that because, hell, it's mainstream news. And that's all that needs to be said about that. Have a nice day.